that's what that's about. Uh, okay. Poet, poet Jewel is a word uh, that I think I've uh, created, Poet Jewel, and it's pronounced like spiritual. And what that means to me is the poetic spiritual experience within. So that's that's what I mean by Poet Jewel. It's like a spiritual you might be our experience that, that we all have. We have we walk poetry, talk poetry, eat poetry, live poetry, breathe poetry, so it's a poetual, you know, experience that we all experience. Fine. No matter what we do. And one other thing, now how can I obtain this record? Well you can obtain this record <laughs> uh, by logging, <laughs> logging on to www.cdbaby.com forward slash blue sky www.cdbaby.com slash forward slash blue sky and you'll see the CD there you can sample a few tracks you can uh, communicate with me um, and that's it yeah you can say anything you want to you express yourself comment I love feedback negative or positive it's all good you know and it will help make me a better poet for you Right. It turns my stomach, blows my mind. When I hear these words come from my own kind. What up, my nigga? Every day that passes everywhere I go. Young brothers act as if they don't know about the history. What up, my nigga? Ain't no mystery that the whip was cracked across your back and the blood you bled poured from your head like polluted rivers of semen overflowing from disease-filled penises of white masters who screwed your women faster than they could scream, please don't, please don't. And she said, please don't, Master Hicks, because I want my boy children to have pure black African and my girls black nappy curls because we be of the sun. From a land where there ain't no artificial tan, where love is received and love is given, this is how we be living. And ain't no one can take that away. But I still hear brothers say, What up, my nigga? Is it they don't know about hanging from a tree, being on the sea, like that really struck fear. Well, dig this, brothers, we all still here. Despite their meetings in the night at the slave shack in the field, propositioning our sisters so that they could cop a feel of the greatness. And I just hate this. I just hate this. This feeling that cringes within my gut when I hear brothers say as they strut, What up, my nigga? Damn, kid, when you gonna learn how you would call a nigga while they tortured you and burned their fiery cross of hate? And it ain't too late, my brother, to start respecting yourself and then each other. But you seem to be comfortable calling me this. This degrading word is meant as a diss. Like those old ass descriptions, Sambo and boy. You think calling me a nigger brings me joy? It hurts me. It shames me. It makes me mad. How you don't seem to realize just how sad it is to be referred to. Like I'm not you standing in front of you, a nigger. Is that all I am? A nigger? Is that what you see me as? A nigger? Is that who you are? A nigger? Does it make you feel bigger when you pull a trigger? Just another job for another grave digger to bury your brother? Unknown without a name? Another nigga that they tried to tame? Well, a nigga is as a nigga does. And a nigga with a bullet in his head is a nigga that was. <laughs> yeah, baby, we gotta stop this madness and not be so blind. Dig the tricks while we still have time. Walk with pride and remember those who were called a nigga as they took the blows and survived. And if not for them, would we be alive? So uh, wake up now and take a stand and stop referring to me as less than a man. Check yourself on this very thing cause ain't no nigga can be no king. And in the future, when greeting me or another, keep it real like, <laughs> what's up my brother? I'm out. Right. And so in conclusion <laughs> on this, uh, this is something all of us can do. Sure. We all can do this. If we we can all do this. If you, if you, anyone who wants to do anything, you know, in this, in this media, just um, write, write, create what you create, and just do the footwork and, and speak to people. Like my brother Harry here, he's very uh, astute as far as uh, a lot of things, filmmaking, recording. Get next to people who are in the field that you're interested in and. Drill them.
you know, get, get information from everybody you know, read all the material you can, um, whatever I can tell you, you know, in my short lived experience of being a recording poet, whatever I can offer, any suggestions. I don't know it all, but, you know, feel free to contact me and I'll try to lend you whatever little knowledge I have, you know, to share with you. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Rick. Thank, thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Harry, for having and, me. Uh, we all have benefited from this quite a bit. Well, I appreciate it, and this is a blessing from God to thank have you. this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. This has been a, a very rewarding afternoon, and, and uh, we'd like to close out by saying thank the audience and uh, fade to black, and we'll see you in the next program. Good night.